Hi guys, today we're going to be doing uh, Mocktron banner ads and reward ads. So, firstly, what we're going to do is create ads onto uh, the ad mob site, which I've created one for Mythical Legends right here. And I've created a banner ad right here. So, I have my banner ad and my other ad down there. Basically, what I want to do here is right now, I want to use um, ad mobs. Uh, test ad to see if I can load a load something so the first step you want to do is I'm gonna give you the step list here which is for banner ads and what you want to do with the banner ads is basically you want to do step one which is add this information into I'm gonna replace this uh, this idea so I want to add that information into here so I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to say this information goes between application this year. It goes between this two year. So you, as you can see there, I've already added it, but I'm going to show you how to add that there. So basically it will look like this. It'll look like that when you open it up on your manifest. And then you want to add that in there by pasting this information in here. And then take your add mob code, your ID here. Remember, try to do this, um, your add mob code here, whatever it is, and just add that in there. Now, if you don't have it on App Store already, ensure that you use these, these codes over here. So basically, I'm going to use these codes. I'm going to go into um, the second step. I'm going to use is remember that this code here is the ant unit code right and I'm going to use the sex step 2 because I need to link it up to the assembly I'm going to use Marktron to link up to the assembly and I'm going to go to Marktron the year and I'm going to place it in year so, so basically you wouldn't have this before and now you would so you got that there now and you want to add the third part is adding this part right here now if you haven't got Marktron installed you just have to go over the app like this here and say Marktron and install this application Marktron.admob Right, install it both onto your Xamarin uh, shared app and, and onto the Android app uh, library and then basically that will appear. So now I want to do step 3 which is copy this code and place this in here. I'm going to remove that there and place this code in here. So this is the banner ad I want it right at the top of the screen and I want to make it Obviously, so, so this is what's going to happen. This is the reason why you're not seeing banner ads. You need to initialize it somehow to appear. So, I've created two buttons here, right? One button will allow it to disappear, and one button will allow it to appear. So, at first, I'm just going to make it. Um, so, make this true, and I'm going to have this as visibility um, false. Right. So what you want to do is basically you want to, um, I'm going to copy this banner code and place this in here because obviously guys I'm not going to give you all my codes but I can give you all my codes but I want to test this code here and see if it's actually that one of those problems on this code. Yeah so I'm going to place this fault and then when I click on this button here which is show add. Show banner ad. Show banner. I should be able to see the banner ad. Now, if it doesn't work, it's this code right here, which needs to be one of something that it has to be an ad more first. So, if it's if it doesn't appear on your Play Store, then you're gonna have to create one using the ad mod process. And for me, luckily, I always upload my uh, apps first onto Play Store 
and then I just uh, once they are accepted then only I add the ads onto it so it's, it's a lot more easier that way than rather than developing and then pushing it all one time up that's a much more easier concept for me to to work on so basically so, so look at that this is a test ad so you have to have your your banner ad hidden at first and something triggers it to show so it could be any action on screen that can trigger it to show so let's see if I can make this um, if I if I don't need to hit need this action in here let's see if I stop that action and I make that false and then on load let's remove that and on load so this is for the next part let me just comment that out comment this out comment all this out stop the application from running so in here I want to basically say my ads dot is visible equals to true so I want to see if that works or if you guys if, it, if that would work for you guys So if this works, then this is basically all you gotta do. Ah, see, it hasn't initialized first as yet. So I'm gonna have to do something like maybe um, main thread dot begin invoke. Right, and in begin invoke, say I'm waiting running a thread here, and I want to say uh, task dot delay, and I'll run this once delay for 10 seconds remember a thousand is 10 seconds yeah so we always put in milliseconds right here and I'm gonna wait this and make this an async and I'm gonna say my ads visible true so it gets triggered that way. So after 10 seconds, it will get triggered. Let's run that. Currently running, 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 running. Mississippi 1, Mississippi 2, Mississippi 3, Mississippi 4, Mississippi 5, Mississippi 6, Mississippi 7, Mississippi 8, Mississippi 9, Mississippi 10. And there we go. Our ad appears there. That's cool. That's all I needed to see. So that's that's what you got to do, guys. So like in 10 seconds or something. Because you have to allow the ad to initialize before it actually views. So I get that kind of picture. So that will solve your problem where the banner ads isn't working. Um... The other one is uh, basically the reward ad. So I want to have a reward ad. So number one is I have your step one for reward ads, which is initializing your reward ad right here. So you just have to copy this and put this in here. Cross empty ad mob dot current dot load reward ads, and then you have your ad mob thing there so I'm gonna take I'm not gonna use one of my ones I'm gonna have a rewarded ad code from here and I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna paste this in here and I'm gonna say save and I'm gonna stop my application rerun it again That's step one. 
to add step two is this next bit of code which is triggering the release of the ad well reward ad and now basically I if you want the actual reward uh, of the ad then to initialize some event afterwards I would suggest you um, yeah so you're gonna have to use all of these steps here which I'm going to show you right now how to do right then if you do not want to use the reward action of it, you use an initialize add, right? And I can, an inter, well, not initialize, an interstantial loaded add or something like that. And, but I will show you how to use this one quickly. This is for the quick ones, just to see if it works now. Then you can, we can work on the rest of the parts of it. So I copy this, I copy this part here paste it in here. You must put it behind a button. It must initialize after some event that's coming up. So I'm making some event happen here and I'm saying uh, count this number on this button. Sorry guys, I'm moving too fast. You just have to replay this video and then try and watch, try and watch out again. It's just the way I code and move, moving so fast. Um, yeah, then well, let me run this and see if the reward comes up. And you'll notice I'm going to put a debug here. So the reason why I'm putting uh, the load initialize reward here at the top because I wanted to load it first before the action occurs. So we don't have that problem of it not showing up again. Then I want to check if it's actually loaded and then I want to show the ad after it's actually loaded. And then I want to reload the ad again. So I want to load another ad onto it again, just in case it hasn't loaded. So watch this. It comes here. I'm going next. And that's loaded. So I can remove that parts to it. And let's see if it actually loaded. It actually loaded. That's a reward ad. That's basically what you're going to do there. Now, if you actually want the reward, watch the next video for that there. I'm going to teach you how to use events for this and carry on. Thanks guys for watching this. I'll put this also onto a git. Let's put this into a git repository. Let's put this into a git repository. I'll name it Marktron Ad Apps. Let's say for uh, YouTube users to build on. Make this public. Let's push save. Get changes to outgoing push up. And thank you guys. Uh, don't ignore that. I'll, it'll be up there by now. Thank you guys for watching this video and if you have any questions just put a comment below. Um, I'll be providing this uh, URL yet here and in this step here right here now, ignore step 3 for now. I'm going to put a comment here saying ignore step this everything after if you haven't watched if how to use events and so on rewarded ads. This is basically I just wanted to show you guys to test if it's actually working. Um, so I put that up there. I'm going to change, uh, save that there as a instruction set, set. Uh, let's see, set. I hope I saved it in the right place. Saved it in documents. That's cool. Let's close that. Alright. Okay, guys. 
we'll see you in the next one. I'll provide all these links for you guys and let's see if that works out.